kind of another slow start today. I mean, how, what did, I guess, led up to that? And I mean, you guys obviously came back, picked it up in the second and then into the third. Um, so I guess, how did you guys, I mean, how did that kind of play out? Well, I'm really disappointed in how we started yesterday and today, and that's mental. I mean, that's them just not being prepared to come out and compete and be the best they could be. So I snapped. I did. I absolutely snapped on them in the locker room after the first period, and then we played fantastic in the second period. We played at our level, and then, uh, you know, I thought we played well in the third period, too. We just, you know, we never took our foot off the gas pedal. We got it done. It was good. And you saw us going from a couple of lines today, too, and Jenna's 100th point. Um, yeah. on that assist. So I guess with her particularly, I mean going from kind of being no more I guess as a goal scorer to getting her 100th point being an assist and kind of that being more her role it seems like this year. I mean, what have you been kind of seen out of her tonight and out of I guess as she's progressed through her time here? Well she definitely has become a better player. Mm -hmm. um, she used to have a lot of bad habits and she still has some and uh, but she's corrected them. Today I thought she played a lot better than yesterday. Yesterday she was looping around not doing anything. Today she was playing, she was sharing the puck hence the assist. I think it's very fitting that she got her 100th point with an assist. I like that a lot. And I thought she did a great job outside driving the puck tonight. Not every time she should have, but she did it a few times, taking the puck to the net. And that's something that we've been trying to get her to do for years. And she did it well tonight. And a line that obviously stuck out this whole weekend, and really this whole year so far, is with Zoe and Megan and Lara. So I guess can you talk a little bit about each of them and kind of how they've been working together and what's kind of been clicking there? Yeah, we call them the buzz line, okay? They're always buzzing, they've got good energy, and uh, they just feed, they feed the whole team, they feed the bench, and then just watch them play. How do you not get energized by watching them play? And they, their feet are always moving, they're always talking, and they really move the box. So they're very impressive. They're just gonna get better and better. And then you had Carissa in that tonight. So yes. what led to that decision, and kind of what, I guess, what did you think of her play today here? Um, I think she did pretty good today. Um, there were some high shots, glove shots early in the game that she really struggled with. She was trying to catch them and she couldn't. They were bouncing out and then you know you're kind of going, hmm, hopefully she'll settle down, you know that's nerves. Um, but I thought she did quite well. We decided to play her last night because uh, she works hard, you know. She's not even our backup goalie, she's our third goalie. We just don't have a backup goalie until January. And uh, she just works hard and we felt that the team would work hard in front of her. And they did for the second and third and she handled it very nice. And then you guys too have talked before about the importance of non-conference games. So what are these two wins, I guess, do for you going into another WCHU weekend, next weekend coming in? Well, it boosts your winning percentage, right? Which is what we have to do when you're in the WCHA. So the reality is when we play these games, we have to win them, it boosts our winning percentage. And that's just a fact of life. And then you'll see Mankato next weekend. So I guess what do you guys do to kind of get ready for that series? You don't really get a whole lot of rest here. And then, well, then you get your bye weekend after when worse, but I guess yeah. coming into Mankato. We're actually giving them two days off because we worked them really hard this week. And I knew they would be tired today, and I told them that before the game. And I said, the legs feed the wolf, and the mind feeds the legs. And I said, you have more in you than you know, right? They're 19, 20 years old. they got lots of gas in the tank. And so even if you're fatigued, you have to fight through it. I explained to them it's my job to put them through the grind during the season so they can handle the grind at the end of the season when it's playoffs and stuff. And I said so this week was about that and I thought they responded today with the second and third period playing well. So they got two days off to get some rest, got some injuries obviously, so people need to take care of a few things. And then we'll just have real high tempo practices on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but they'll be short. Make sure their gas tank is full against Mankato and we should peak. We have a phase, we have a plan and we're supposed to peak against Mankato and then take some time. So yeah. last night, Antoinette, you guys kind of had a little bit of a slow start, but then picked it up definitely in the third, second and third periods. So can you just kind of talk through, I guess, what happened there and how you guys were able to kind of bring the momentum into the second and third period to come out with the win? <laughs> yeah, I think our play was pretty obvious in the first period today, and we couldn't be satisfied with yesterday's play either. So um, a 3-1 win, yes, we got the win, but we expected more from ourselves, so that's why we needed to come out today, but we were a little, came out a little sleepy in the first, and coach came in and worked us a new one, and we figured it out, so <laughs> second and third period were definitely our best periods of the game, or of the weekend, too. Yeah. So. And then your line's been just on top of everything, it seems like, with a couple goals last night, you got four tonight, you got a hat trick coming in here, so I guess how, have it, how has it seemed like it's been working with you guys? I mean, you had Laura come up off of defense from last year, and um, just your chemistry on that line and how that's been working out for you guys. Yeah, Staldi's Laura, she's really offensive-minded, and she jumps in the play and naturally does that anyway, so having her as a center where she knows how to play defense and with wingers like Megan and I who play similar, um, 
it's it's a lot of fun to play with, and we've had our ups and downs, but that's only made us stronger. So uh, we're just the kind of line that tries to go to work and create energy for the team, and that's what we try to do, and that's how we score our goals. So. And then you had lines off or goals off a couple of different lines tonight too. It wasn't like you guys had to carry it all yourselves, and saw um, Lynn get a goal here tonight. So. I mean, is it nice to kind of get scoring by committee as opposed to having, you know, have like one or two people try to do it all themselves? Oh my gosh, absolutely. It's it's great. When we can have as many people on the score sheet, that's when it's the best. So, yeah, having Lynn jump in there, she got her first career goal, and um, we have some young kids with great potential, and it's fun to see them get in the lineup and get, get some goals in there too. And so, I mean, we, we've talked I mean, to you and to other people too about the importance of non-conference wins. Does it not have a little bit of... A cushion there coming off this weekend knowing you got those two yeah our first few weekends were tough and we knew that we knew that we had to take care of this weekend and uh, but we knew that we needed to get better it doesn't matter who we play it doesn't mm -hmm. matter if it's yeah. conference out of conference we knew we needed to take it to whoever we were playing this weekend so uh, we're happy with a couple wins and then you jump back into conference play again next weekend with Mankato and then you get a weekend off but I guess what are you looking for to look and looking forward to, to do next weekend to try and get yourself in a good spot before you have your week off? It's just important for us to keep getting better and keep looking forward and um, especially before an off weekend to end on a good note with our team and uh, continue to get better. So.